Hey guys, it's Gina. I am working through a project today. I am, um, first I'm trying to figure out how this circle cutter for Martha Stewart works. That's what I had to figure out first. Um, I'm taking a class. Uh, it's called Journal About Me. It's Jam. I'm going to put the link in the bottom here so you can get, um, I, I believe it's a free class. Um, I've signed up for so many classes as part of this whole I'm going to learn lots of stuff in 2016. So I, I think it's a free class. I will um, put the link in the description. And see, I cannot figure out how to use this trimmer. It's I just opened it. It's the Martha Stewart Large Circle Cutter uh, because this class does all of the layouts in circles. And um, so this is part of my Thursday series. And Thursday is going to be kind of a tangent. Uh, it could be anything. Uh, whatever I feel like doing or sharing or whatever on Thursday... Uh, will go in this slot. So I finally got my circle set up, so I'm all happy about that. Good. And then I have some of this decoupage paper, and I also have, you'll see that uh, Prima 6x6 paper pad there on the right-hand side. So I'm just going through and trying to figure out now what papers I want to use. The first challenge in this class was to create a project using a baby wipe uh, all about your name. So, okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, using the baby wipe, I completely messed up what I wanted to do, though. I had a baby wipe that had all of these gorgeous colors on it that I dried. Uh, it was, uh, you know, I had used it to clean up paint, and it had these gorgeous, like, mixture of colors, and I saved it, and it was dry, and I meant to use that on this page and forgot all about it. So, yeah, I'm using matte medium here, I think, I think it's matte gel, yeah, I think it's matte gel, I'm using matte gel to lay this paper down, I love matte gel, I really do, one of the things though that I did not do is I didn't pre, I didn't gesso this circle before I started, bad idea, and the other thing that people are doing now that I see, and, and they could have been doing it forever, and I just became aware of it or whatever, but they're gessoing both sides. They're putting gesso on both sides of the paper, so it tends not to curl as much when you put it on both sides. So I thought, oh, that's great. I didn't do it for this circle. You're going to see as the circle dries, it gets very dimensional, shall we say. It uh, curls up pretty bad, uh, but that's okay. So I'm cutting out some of these uh, pieces from the Prima collection that I think I'm going to use on this layout. And really, when I started this project, I had no idea where I was going. Um, you know, art journaling and playing with uh, media and things like that is something that I'm, I, I'm quite enjoying, but I'm a novice, complete novice. And that's part of, like, my thing this year. Uh, I just want to allow myself to be a beginner and to not know and to take classes and to learn. You know, I was one of those kids in school who hated art. I thought art was the biggest waste of time, like, ever. I hated art. Like, taking me to art class was like ripping my fingernails out. I kid you not. Like, I hated art. Like, we want you to draw in this thumbnail. We want you to sketch, you know, a thumbnail drawing every day while you're in art. Oh, gosh, help me. One, it was, it was, I was very conscious of the fact that I was not an artistic person. I'm a, f I'm a more scientific black and white, you know, hence my career. Lots of rules. There's not a lot of rules in art. I mean, there are, but not a whole lot of people, you know, you know the rules in order to break them, you know what I mean? So, art was like the epitome of hell for me. And I hated it, hated it, hated it. And who would think, like now, 20 years out of high school, I never took art in high school. I got it waived. <laughs> but uh, who would think now, you know, now, 20 years later, like I wish that I had paid attention, you know, because I feel like going into this year of learning that I'm doing and taking all these classes, sometimes I wish the class would start with the instructor holding up, you know, a paintbrush and saying, this is a paintbrush, and this is paint. Um, I wish I'd paid attention more in, in kindergarten and things and, and really gotten involved with art then, but that was just not where I was, you know. When I, when I was a kid, I just, art was, I hated it. My brothers, I have two brothers who draw, they're pretty artistic. One of my brothers writes poetry, he's super artistic. I used to write a lot, um... I didn't consider that, like, artistic, you know, I, I, I used to write, 
uh, stories and, and I was constantly writing, but to actually draw or to paint or to do anything, oh, just terrible. But, you know, we live and learn, and so I'm going to go back and I'm going to learn all the stuff I didn't learn then now. That's basically what 2016 is all about. I uh, pulled this Prima stencil and I'm trying to figure out now what texture paste I want to use and I end up using this Art Basics by Prima. I think that's the Finabar Fina Fina line. I love her. She's my... <laughs> I just want to be her. I mean, have you ever seen her projects? I'm like all. I'm like in all, you know. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to clean my stencil off right away. Which means that I'm going to actually, I think, in this, I, I now, I think I said in my last video, I now throw these stencils, uh, d yeah, I'm going to spray this one down because I didn't have any water in my dish pan in my room. But that is how I typically deal with these stencils that have uh, this paste all over them because paint comes off. But this, the, you know, these paints and these uh, sort of dimensional products that we use through stencils don't come off. And I learned that the hard way, thank you, my Heidi Swap stencil is all not good now. Can't use it now because it was a very, uh, the holes were very small. Oh, yeah. Can't get it out. So, and I haven't been able to find it to replace it, so I'm very irritated with myself. But now, I wash them off right away. I cannot believe that I kept the entire drying of this embossing paste on this video. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. I thought I actually left it. Typically what I do is I'll start something like this, and then I'll leave it and I'll go upstairs. And like, most of the time when I'm scrapping now, I scrap book during the day. Uh, Stu and I are having, uh, some of my papers are coming up, so I wanted to put a little bit more of that matte medium down there to put them down, but uh, typically, because Stu and I are having this whole, I call it Get Sexy 16, uh, so we're eating better, and, and I want to remodel my house really bad, and in order to do that, I need to save money, so... Gina's on a no spend 16. So we're going to get our finances in shape. We're going to get our bodies in shape. It's going to be a very healthy 2016. So I've been spending a lot of time in my scrapbook room. Unfortunately, you don't know that because I make the projects, but then I don't know. Do you know what I think it is? It's not even narrating videos. I like doing this. It's just like having a conversation with you all. It's no big deal. What I don't like is editing photos. Like I hate it. So in order to put the video on the blog it needs a picture like don't ask me why it just does and so now I'm obsessed with like I have to use my camera correctly and uh, anyway back to this project I pulled out some Tim Holtz grunge board if you watch my channel for the rest of this year and I hope you do and I hope that I you know get on a schedule and get some videos up for you guys but if you watch my channel for the rest of the year because I'm on this no spending thing I'm digging way into the stash to find things to use, and it's actually, like, been great. Like, I have so much stuff that I, it's been good to put that stuff on paper, you know. I, I did, I did subscribe to one kit club, so I have a, a little bit of new product coming in, but uh, put a big stop on buying the, you know, all the embellishments and everything else. And I have no idea where I went in this video right now. No idea at all. But what I was saying was uh, I pulled out some grunge board uh, by Tim Holtz that uh, I actually bought it Tuesday morning. So, you know, it was even older than that. This was when I was traveling like madness for work. And, uh, okay, I may come back here. There we go. I'm back. I went to get some bling. All right, good. So my name is Regina, uh, is my, my real first name. And... It means queen in Italian. And it was it's funny, when I was in high school, I worked at a pizza place, and the Italian owner used to call me Queen Elizabeth because my middle name is Elizabeth. So I, I Regina and then Elizabeth. I think it's Regina uh, or something like that. I'm not sure. But he would call me Queen Elizabeth, which I thought was quite funny. So uh, that's why I pulled out the uh, crowns and things like that because I thought it would go with that whole queen sort of thing. And if you ask any of my brothers, I'm definitely the queen, so... You know, so I pulled out, uh, and th this is also grunge board. These these uh, letters, and now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the letters. And I decide that, well, first I have to paste the end back together because I ripped it. So I took care of that with some matte media, medium matte medium matte 
gel, something like that. And now I'm going to use this Dazzler Colors. This is from, what is that company called? Oh, I love them too. Shimmers. Yes. So these are Dazzlers by Shimmers. And yes, Dazzlers by Shimmers. And I pulled the red and the black. And uh, I'm going to just use my palette knife and I'm going to do sort of a, I mix the red and the black together to give me kind of a like burgundy, deep, deep red kind of, I love this stuff. It goes on like butter. Like this is, this is their modeling paste. It's called Dazzlers. It's very shiny. They also have one called Textures that is more bumpy and, and, oh, but I love this stuff. It just, it just, it's so smooth and it dries so pretty. If you go to the blog post over at uh, RememberEveryday.com for this photo, I took a close-up picture of these letters. They're gorgeous. This product is probably one of my favorites that has come in my scrap room lately. I love these things. Uh, one, I don't have to mix, uh, you know, I don't have to mix molding paste with color to try to figure out what color I want even though I did mix two colors together here but it was pretty easy to figure out but uh, and they just go on so gorgeously I love these things I can't tell you enough how much I love these so I am a complete shimmers person I think I own everything that shimmers sells because I I just love their products like I just I first saw them Missy Oh, what is her last name? Her name is Missy. She's on the Shimmers educational team, I believe. And uh, I first saw Shimmers, the paints, with her video. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, I need to have these. I kind of went on a spending kind of nutcase thing in December in anticipation of my no spending. I, pro I kind of went a little crazy in December, but that's okay. That's okay. Now we're not going to spend any money on scrapbooking stuff except for my kit um, and you'll see my kit I have a unboxing of my kit um, I, I subscribe to scraps of darkness because I really really am enjoying the mixed media stuff lately and that's more it's geared more towards that I know that the click kit has you know mixed media kits and color kits I think they call it, whatever I, I know that you know there are other places that have them but I just love scraps of darkness so um, if you want to, in, in a couple videos, I'll have the unboxing for that. And then I'm going to make some, I want to make some layouts with those things before February comes around. So, and I'm traveling the last two weeks. I'm traveling next week and the last week of January pretty significantly. So I'll have to see how that's going to work out. So I tried to figure out how I was going to, I didn't want those crowns, those rhinestone crowns to be, what's the word silver like that so I'm trying to figure out how I wanted to color them and I first started with a sponge and alcohol ink and alcohol ink maybe I shouldn't have dried it with a heat tool or something it turned out to be very not shiny it was very matte and I didn't really like it and now I don't know what I'm trying to do here oh I'm still using is that alcohol ink yeah, I'm using alcohol, but this time I'm putting it on a sponge, and I'm not going to heat set it. And so it, it it's still not as shiny as, you know, the regular rhinestones, or if I had gold crown rhinestones. But they're, they work. They're good. And there's not a whole lot of shininess going on on this layout anyway. So it worked out good. And so now I'm going to clean up my space, because I know you guys want to watch that. I really need to get better about editing these videos down, because I'm making you guys watch way too much stuff. Did you need me? Did you really need to see me spackle all six letters of my name? I don't think so. <laughs> so I will get better about that, I promise. Well, at least I, I, I will I will try. How's, how's that? I'll try. So I'm going to put these down with this glue, and this glue bottle drives me crazy. Um, do you see how the label's all falling off? Those little letters fall all over my desk. It makes me nuts. And I'm just hoping that soon they'll all fall off and there will be no more letters on this bottle. That's Eileen's Techie Glue, I think is what it's called. And I put that glue in one of those fine liners. Big mistake. It won't make it through. It's too viscous. It's, it's got too much viscosity. It won't go through the fine liner. It's too thick. So, that was a big mistake. I'm learning, right? That is the that's the word of the year, and uh, that's what's happening. I'm learning. So I put these uh, 
I put these pearls around the outside of this layout to kind of give it a, a frame. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm adding some gold. That's what I was doing. I'm adding some gold to uh, those letters, I believe is what I was doing. And now I'm going to work on the butterfly. And I realized about at this point that I haven't used a baby wipe on this layout at all. So I'm going to have to use some, uh, I'm going to have to use a wet baby wipe and some gelatos. Or maybe I'm going to use these Neo, Neo Color crayons. Do I use the Neo Colors? I actually think I do. I, I think I use the Neo Colors. Yep. So all I'm doing is scribbling this color on the top of this layout. And then I'm going to use a baby wipe just to rub it in. So I'm using black and, and a couple of reds. And at some point, I think I'm going to use that gold one. And all I'm doing is uh, using a baby wipe to move that color around. They work very similar to gelatos. And then I didn't like what that looked like because I got glue on the page. And you see the big spot there where the glue is uh, right above that piece of paper. And so I pulled out. These are the uh, creamies and the inklings from Shimmers. And I'm going to use some gold, some red, and some black. And I'm just going to paint this upper portion here that was still white. It just looked too stark and, and empty. So I'm just going to paint some gold. I think I paint the red and the black too. Maybe I don't. With me? I don't know. I did make these layouts a long time ago. Here's some red. I, I made these layouts a long time ago. Uh, I'm just getting around now to doing the voiceovers for them. So I can't really remember what I did yesterday. So to ask me to remember what the, you know what's going on in here. Oh, heavens. Um, so black, red, and, and gold, like I said, and I'm just filling in that really stark area there that was kind of getting on my nerves. I don't really like how this turned out, but I'm going to put that butterfly over it, over most of it, so you're not going to really see it. Uh, I'm going to have to work a little bit more with my, I think what I should have done was spray that paper first and then put my watercolor down, and then they would have sort of move together but I didn't do that so the watercolor kind of seeped into the paper and uh, I couldn't get them to blend the way I wanted but you live in and you learn <laughs> I'm gonna get sick of myself and saying that so I'm gonna put this gel this gold gelato over this butterfly and I think I'm gonna use a baby wipe to yep I'm gonna use a baby wipe and I realized that the baby wipe was actually taking the gold gelato right off of there so I'm like okay well maybe I'll paint it and that's what I decided to do here I'm gonna actually paint it using these um paints from shimmers so I'm outlining it in red like this. And I'm just, it's, I have a very wet brush and uh, I'm just letting the paint seep where it wants to go. I didn't pre-treat the, I did not pre-treat the grunge board. And now since the inside is red, I am just, all I'm doing is putting my paintbrush into this very wet paint and then touching the paintbrush on the edge of these butterflies so that the black ink will just spread into the center of the butterfly the way that it wants to. My butterfly is not exactly symmetrical. He's a little weird but so am I. So it worked on this page about me. Um, but that's what I'm doing. I know I'm off, set, off camera here and I'm sorry about that but that's what I did. So I just took a very wet paintbrush, dipped it in that paint, and then just tapped it on the sides of that uh, butterfly to get it to go in there. So, And then I'm going to heat set that with my heat gun. I decided there wasn't enough black in that upper portion of that wing. So we're going to add a little bit more. And then I'll heat set that. Yep. Because I was driving myself a little crazy like these are not symmetrical. And I'm like, oh, you need to get over this. Like, seriously. Did I tell you I hated art? Yeah. These are kind of the reasons why. If you look at my house, like most of, like everything in my house is symmetrical. My husband laughs at me because if we have like a painting on one side of the, you know, something, we have to have a painting exactly the same size on the other. It's, it's, a, I have a sickness. I'm going to use some of this Inca gold and add some gold to my butterfly now. I'm just going to use my finger to do that. Just run it over. The grunge board has a texture on it, kind of like a swirly sort of raised texture. So I'm just rubbing my finger uh, quite softly over you can actually see the uh, the circles in that grunge board now 
uh, just running my fingers lightly over that so that um, all it's all it all it's sitting in I didn't want it to get too much into the valleys of that texture more just on the top so I'm adding a bunch of foam adhesive to these wings because I kind of want them to sit up off of the page and like I said, it's covering up a lot of that painting I did, so. And I think I'm going to use glossy, yeah, I think that's glossy accents sitting. And you guys, I don't know who told me like several million times, you see the pin on the right side there? That's what I close my glossy accents with now. You guys are geniuses. It doesn't clog now. I just stick that pin down in the, in the top. It's lovely. My glossy accents does not clog anymore. You guys are great. Somebody, I like, I, I got like ten or twenty messages on YouTube about that, and it was great. But now I finally done it, and there you go. So just gonna go over these letters a little bit with um, this Inca Gold to finish this up. Oh my gosh, this video still has a lot of time left on it. I don't know what I'm doing. I am gonna, I'm just adding a little bit of gold to this layout um, to both the the some other portions of the, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, just a couple of other portions of the layout, I add some of that Inca gold to, just to pull the gold down into that lower right, uh, lower left hand spot of the layout. And then I'm actually going to use these thickers to spell out the word, um, I think I spell out the word the queen uh, on this. Um, I should have thought about spacing with that descender letter of the Q, but it's okay. You know, sometimes you just got to let things go. And here I'm going to play around with the T so it looks like the T, the H is actually crossing the T. So I'm going to cut the T and then just use the H as its uh, crossbar. And that is, oh, I'm going to add my little crowns over the, la the three letters of my name. And that is going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.